Hello everybody, hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be picking up right from where I left off yesterday's video looking at the finale of that parallel channel because how successful was that and then moving on to this one that we are trading in right now so it's going to be a bit of a quicker video today I want to just wrap it all up quite quickly and then get back to trading this so I hope that you enjoy this video and you can take something beneficial educationally from how I traded this because it was extremely successful um, so here we go Obviously, where we left off yesterday was quite live in the moment, uh, hitting this 5,181 resistance, which for me was really big. Where did we drop down to? We dropped down to the midpoint of this parallel channel, quickly free drawn here. Obviously, we come up, hit resistance, okay, where I was obviously t taking profits slightly as the video ended, uh, went off there to take profits, and we obviously came down to the midpoint of this parallel channel, okay? From the midpoint of the parallel channel, we had another move up here, okay? So we obviously moved up to the top of the parallel channel on bearish divergences. At this point, on this top wick, the first time it hit, I did not enter the short. It was on the second time that we came up here, I entered into my short position. As shown here, uh, obviously tweeting out in the moment, we were at 5,340, the very top of this move. Okay, how could I not take, <laughs> how could I hold out more? Taking a Bitcoin short this time from the top of the channel, too good of an entry to miss. My targets have been hit from the longs and there is so much greed about. Um, you have to remember that there was at this point, a lot of people FOMO buying. I was watching that order book, <laughs> that second layer order book for about a good five minutes, just watching the FOMO buys come in. And I thought, yeah, I am shorting this. There was just a lot of FOMO buys um, and um, under bearish divergences. That Those are the two metrics alone that you don't want to be watching, uh, but obviously taking in more factors into consideration. But for me, this was just an opportune uh, moment to take that short. <laughs> and thank you for this comment that I am on the uh, select list of, list of traders that are called elite pro traders. Thank you very much for that uh, comment. But yeah, here we obviously, yeah, that was just me entering into the short from the top of the channel. And it's like a moment that you have to be very experienced to be short in this sort of scenario. Uh, what could be classed as a blue sky breakout with obviously no resistance close by, not obviously an all time high breakout, but obviously very little resistance at this point. You have to know what you're doing. Uh, and this was a comment that made me laugh that somebody, some, uh, I got Twitter tagged in this by Tony that this guy posted out saying, um, I don't follow this guy, but he just said, when it's time to short for ma maximum financial opportunity, no one will have the balls to do it. Uh, and then this guy tagged me saying, this guy does. Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> so obviously this was my short entry getting filled at 5,330. We obviously now sit at currently at the time of recording 4,963. So this is a massive obviously gain from that short um so yeah that was obviously very very nice what happened here obviously we hit at the top here i was trading then there was another sub parallel channel in here as you can probably tell i love these parallel channels i'm going to try and draw this out really quickly for you but we were looking at a parallel channel like this okay well obviously we're, we were coming down to support up to the top down hitting the top of the parallel channel if i draw this out really nicely i'm just going to free draw it free draw it like that and then obviously we come down lose support back test it then you um obviously can enter into shorts again at this point it was scalping because this is obviously on the five minute chart this is a good half an hour okay scalping within here closing out and then you come down so let me just explain this you come down lose the parallel channel hold the old support of the parallel channel as resistance move down heavily okay move down heavily and where was uh, just for me absolutely amazing this channel uh, that you hold support in the midpoint lose midpoint do not find support at the bottom of the channel this time you break bottom of the channel support come up hold it as resistance you get another final leg down that is just absolutely amazing absolutely amazing there like honestly just technical analysis to the point and i'm just going to load up the chart and show you what happened here uh so i don't have to spend some time loading this up so this was obviously looking here on the on um, the 15 minute chart and the same happened on the one hour chart okay so i will just load this up really quickly actually why not so one hour let's load up our emas uh, da, 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 da. so exponential moving averages i just want to show you like where it found support so obviously here we're on the hour chart and the other the other viewpoint is from the 15 minute but this is coming down and holding the 200 exponential moving average to the absolute point on the 15 minute chart on the one hour chart the 55 exponential moving average to the absolute point okay uh, so as i said here because like this is just so impressive like just appreciate the chart just appreciate it like absolute perfection from technical analysis analysis rejection from the top of the channel okay then you hold support at a midpoint temporarily lose bottom of the channel support retest it as resistance come down hold the 200 exponential moving average as support um that's just what i love to see as you all know i'm so passionate about trading and when you see this play out um it's just 
perfection absolute perfection in the charts i absolutely love it and it's just a joy to trade really is a joy to trade um and i just want to end you with you here obviously showing you what i'm trading right now so uh yeah take this on because as you can tell by that last parallel channel that i gave you that was an extreme extreme profitable money making channel if you traded that with me and now we're on to another one and this is a sideways channel, okay, where we're looking at the bottom to the top, the bottom getting very close to the top, not quite to the top of this, this time with the touch, okay, so obviously coming down here, hitting, you know, again, very, very close to the bottom of the channel. Now, we obviously want to try and see whether we can sort of, sort of break above these high lows. And as we were looking there, as you probably saw the yeah, exponential moving averages obviously acting as resistance here as well. Okay, so we do have the, you know, now we're getting the tightening EMAs, okay, so 55 26, 12, and 8, all acting as resistance here. And then we have the 200 slightly below. So we could be getting a bearish cross on the 55 and 200 exponential moving averages. Um, so please keep an eye on these EMAs. Uh, price, if we are to move up to the top, is going to have to get above these EMAs now before we continue moving upwards. So that's obviously, uh, these are resistances right now. So there's extra resistance in this parallel channel. But while it holds, um, there's no need to be extra bearish, okay? You're just sculpting this channel until you get a close, exactly as you saw here, really, until you, like, close below it and retest, and then, you know, that's confirmation. Uh, or just closing below it is really confirmation. But, you know, that's how I love to trade it. And this is what you need to be looking at right now. Um, so, yeah, just taking it one step at a time, really loving the sculpt trades. Um, yeah, and just shout out to the people that love sculpting this with me. And shout out to my avid students over on Patreon because we killed it. Okay, so last week I have been going over this engine coin chart for a at least a week now saying uh, we were originally looking at an ABCDE and then we were looking at this ABC coming down to the 618. Okay, and we were all buying the 618 support. So this was probably us holding this up. <laughs> but this is obviously engine coin after an 800% pump coming down to the 618. We all bought this. I don't want you to think that my uh, average students group is a signal group because it's not a signal group. This was just a setup that I shared freely with the average students. Um, one a trade that i was taking um so it's not a signal group but uh it was a very nice trade that everyone got in on <laughs> but here obviously we're hitting the 618 we pumped up immediately to the 0 0.5 this is a 25 percent pump by the way <laughs> 25 percent in a few hours okay a few hours from the 618 being touched up to the 0 0.5 brilliant profits and then you just see here 0 0.5 resistance with old support flipping to resistance and that's where a point where you could potentially be taking profits here and then looking to buy back in or closing out the position however you feel like managing that that trade but yeah this was just one that i called really really nicely uh that obviously played out perfectly that's a 25 percent in a day that's that's um just like we've been seeing on bitcoin but yeah um yeah obviously where can you read more about that if you want to read more about this it's over on patreon chart champions uh, but yeah, that's just uh, <laughs> was an amazing call that I obviously really enjoyed trading that. Uh, Engine coin is like really, really crazy. Um, just after the pumps, you just need to wait for it and be really patient. Like the most important thing is being patient on these setups. Uh, obviously, uh, moving away from Engine coin, I just wanted to yeah, just show you that because it was a really nice call from myself. And then coming back here to uh, Bitcoin, just yeah, keep yourself, keep your eye on these channels. Obviously, I have shown a uh, Elliott wave count uh, on a bigger term time frame that we could just be in an A, B coming down for a C right now. So you want to be a little bit careful of that uh, unless you are very bullish and, uh, you know, really keep your eye on the parallel channel. And that's going to be telling you whether we're coming down for a C or what we're still coming up for another wave five. That's going to be really telling this parallel channel, in my opinion of how this ends okay obviously fibonacci levels 382 being held really nicely here okay so that's just hitting the 382 and getting an instant reaction from that um as well so yeah the fib levels obviously there are people trying to buy the dips so uh yeah you just gotta you know play the chart as it comes okay really just play the chart as it comes um yeah extremely extremely enjoyable trading this i hope that you've enjoyed this video um, obviously, I am probably going to upload my Elliott Wave count um, that I have recorded uh, from the from a few weeks ago. So this is obviously the Elliott Wave count of the bullish Elliott Wave count with the bottom being in. So that was obviously recorded on the 16th. And, and although it's going to be slightly outdated, I am going to upload that for you all. So you can go back and see what my thought process was uh, of identifying that the possible bottom was in down here. And then this is obviously a one, two, possible three, four, five again. Um, so, yeah, I will upload that tomorrow as a part one. And then I will do another Elliott wave count going through this, showing my actual Elliott wave count uh, from where we are here. So it'll be like a part one from two weeks ago, how well my thought process was. And then I'll do a part two, like an updated live Elliott wave count for you all. OK, because I know you love that.
So, uh, yeah, you can look forward to those Elliott Wave counts as well. I'll probably upload it tomorrow or Saturday. I'll see how it goes. Or Sunday, who knows? <laughs> um, but, yeah, hope you hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, thank you for watching and, and keep your eyes on this channel. Uh, and Engine Coin, where are we now? Engine, 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 engine. Up 10%, yeah, because it retraced to the 618 and got again for another retrace. Like, absolute perfect trading, <laughs> not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, thank you, everybody. And, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Cheers. Good night. Bye. <laughs>